New at five tonight. Just once a year, the Norton Museum of Art is closed to visitors for a couple of weeks. But what happens behind those fancy closed doors? News Channel 5's Ashley, Ashley Walters gained special access. This is a story you'll see only on five. Priceless works of art sit regally in the Norton Art Museum. Except that is when you're not around. We sort of hatch and plot and scheme things that we think will make the visitor experience better. Deputy Director James Brayton Hall keeps exhibits moving. And once a year, a huge metamorphosis that springs from a two week closure. Galleries are shifted and spun, new works put on walls from storage, and Ellen Roberts shuffles the deck. But a sculpture can be in so many different positions in the gallery. The masterworks are relocated in a fashion so secret the museum won't let me show you. Changing airflow, a speck of dust, even a smell in the air prohibited around the art. Then wall paint colors must flow from one room to the next. In this case, we have the kind of more realist works and the more abstract works in the same gallery. So we're going to use a, a deep blue that I think will make these all of these works really pop. While priceless pieces are handled to live for eternity, this lobby installation has a lifespan of just one year. It's designed to be temporary. We are actually bound contractually by the artist to destroy this. While no piece of that installation can be saved. In this case, I know that when people come around that corner, the first thing they see is really this wall. So Roberts positions dozens of priceless pieces into her plan. It never, ever stays the same when I bring the actual works into the gallery. It's two weeks that bring fresh vision to light. In West Palm Beach, Ashley Walters, WPTV News Channel 5. The Norton Museum of Art will open once again on September 17th.